this is Amber with Lives in Sync Tarot. This will be your weekly reading for July 16th through 22nd for the elements of air. I do want to say before I get started, I'm so sorry about the noise in the background. I have my air conditioner on because it's very hot in here. I tried to leave it off. I really did, guys, but it was just too hot. Okay, so, <laughs> so I apologize about that. So we'll get started with your reading and we'll start with Gemini. Spirit, what do you have for Gemini for July 16th through 22nd? That was quick, Gemini. Okay, you have Strength, Moon, Page of Wands. Ah, oh, what you going through? Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, and the Two of Cups. On the bottom of the deck, you have the Hierophant. <sighs> okay, Gemini. I feel what you're going through. It's pretty lousy. Um, it feels like a spiritual abandonment. Um, it feels lonely. But I don't feel like it's a person. I feel like it's just life. I know that sounds really weird. But it just feels like a downtime, okay? And you're trying to figure out what your morals and, and values are now. It's like you're trying to come back to yourself spiritually, looking for some sort of enlightenment. And I feel like you're going to get a passionate message, maybe from a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, about wanting to rekindle something. Or they want to help you or support you. Okay? That's just the beginning. <laughs> I mean, well, just the overall energy. So, um, let me throw the signs out. I like to do that at the beginning. I see a Leo, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces may all be involved with you this week. But it looks like you're trying to be strong. Even though you feel this way, even though you've been having these, these feelings, you're trying to be strong. And work on yourself. Becoming new. Finding something new about yourself. You may be doing research on something spiritual. You're just trying to find yourself and become a better you. Okay? You're getting back to yourself. Your, your inside. Who you are as a person. You're really trying to bring that out and, and understand it more. And it feels really heavy on you. And that's why you're really focused on trying to make it happen. You're trying to find that new passion. That new energy that new feeling there may also be a fire sign out there that's really trying to help you it may be someone that you're in a relationship with okay or it might, doesn't even have to be a relationship someone you consider a soulmate as well okay and I feel like they're offering you a new beginning or trying to help you with a new beginning and you need to accept that like that's a part of helping you through this time okay I don't want to get into this too much I feel like I can but that, that was brief enough okay this is for Libra for July 16th through 22nd Spirit what do you have for Libra during this time I feel like you got to shake up, Libra. Okay, you had two cards fall out. The Queen of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. 
There may be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius that's offering you a new beginning or a lump sum of money. Okay? Um, or a job, a new opportunity. Or you're feeling good about a new opportunity that's coming in to you. Okay? So you have the Four of Pentacles, the Fool, Six of Wands, King of Swords, Eight of Cups, Seven of Wands. On the bottom of the deck you have the Ten of Pentacles. So this could be family. It's family that's trying to pick you up. It looks like you're going through something. You have a lot of responsibilities and they are trying to help you out. Um, there may be some inheritance coming in as well. But you do have some help coming in for you to help you with your burden. So that's good. I see it a lot. There is some money or some opportunities coming in for you. It looks like you're trying to hold on to what you have. You've been trying to figure out what you need to do differently. Um, trying to become more clear headed and more more smart about how you spend and how you deal with things to hold on it, it i feel like you're tightening the purse strings okay libra and you know that you need to take a faith or a leap of faith maybe you have been taking leaps of faith to hold on to what you have but you would rather be in a situation that's more comfortable and that's what you're trying to find you're trying to walk into a situation that's more comfortable and you're definitely tired of fighting okay and you will get be successful here i see that you will be successful and you'll have public recognition like um if you are filling out applications uh they will see you if you are trying to get attention publicly they will see you okay you will be successful that way but there's some sort of risk that you need to take okay and it has something to do with your emotions like um walking towards something that induces emotion or makes you feel good okay and you will be taking a risk on this i cannot say that enough but you have to stand up. Stand up for what you believe in, Libra. That's what it's all about. And the people will come. That's all I keep hearing. Stand up for what you believe in and the people will come. Just like a wish. Just like a wish. Okay? And this is for Aquarius. Spirit God, what do you have for Aquarius? For July 16th through 22nd. Aquarius, I feel like you're looking for something. Let's see what you're looking for. What are you looking for? High Priestess, Ten of Pentacles, Strength, Eight of Pentacles, Justice, and the Knight of Pentacles. On the bottom of the deck, you have the chariot. It may you may be dealing with a cancer. Let me just get this out. <laughs> cancer, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Leo. That's it. Okay. So it looks like you're trying to get someone to see eye to eye with you okay uh, maybe a situation or a person in particular I feel as though this is a person it may be an earth sign um, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn definitely a Capricorn um, that you are trying to okay it's like they're not giving enough um, the relationship is lacking in the giving department in some aspect and you're trying to get them to take control and make you happy or make happiness like to get them to see something that they're missing to like jump on the bandwagon so you both can go together okay so it looks like this was a secret this was a secret for a while and you have to release this secret that you've been holding in order to have something positive happen 
um, or in order to get things to work you'll have to and I feel as though they will want to work with you I don't feel as though they're gonna be upset about it but I kind of feel like you just don't want to get into it because you have security here you don't want them to think they're not good enough okay it's going to take courage and strength in order for you to 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 do this or to get out and say what you need to say okay um just do it with integrity. Do not be mean. Just be very honest and loving and caring, especially with the Hierophant. If you meditate or pray, um, I feel as though spirit will give you or guide you the way to, to say it in a, a way that they will understand and will not be offended. Okay. And that way you can work slowly towards your goals. Okay. Um, maybe make a plan with each other in order to move forward but it's going to take strength okay okay aquarius that was it i'll see you next week love and light bye bye